toy take parts are one of the best ways to learn how things work, but add a microcontroller and you'll have students prototyping inventions in no time. But don't use new toys. Go to a thrift shop and look for old or busted toys. First thing you need to do is line your workspace with butcher paper. Before they even start to take things apart, draw what you imagine is inside the toy. Once they start the toy dissection, use a new marker to draw what's actually inside the toy. Draw the parts, the complexities, and then think, hmm, what does each part do? What is the purpose of this? Make sure students label their diagrams with their thoughts. A great tip I got from Ryan Jenkins of Wonderful Idea Company is to separate the toys, skins, and guts for other workshops that you might hold in the future. Check out the unmaking in progress. Oh, yes. <laughs> so the lights go in his eyes? No, it's his mane. Oh, it means the lights are his whole mane. Look at the other. Oh, yeah, I hear some roars. That's actually a pretty complicated roar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is your drawing. It's profane. Cool. They have time, have them share what they found. Now with all those toy guts pushed to the side, spend a little bit of time exploring microcontrollers. In my workshop, we explored Hummingbird Robotics, Microbit, and Makey Makey. I let each teacher choose which microcontroller they wanted to play with and explore. It didn't take long for the teachers to pull those toy guts back to the forefront and start seeing how the microcontrollers could control the components they found inside their toys. So you have it playing on the, was that from your toy or their toy? Yeah, it's from my toy. Are you playing it? Now it's all, I hear it. That's so cool. So, do it again. Hit, it, hit the button. Yay! I bet it's louder from this side. So you've got your toy. What's this from? From the teddy bear. From the teddy bear? Uh -huh. And hook to micro bit. Do it again. Oh my god, I'm excited. I want to see this side. I like this side. Yeah. I like the wire side. And you figured it out, and it works. Yay! So cool. And if they don't start naturally making something, put up a big challenge. Like this one. The creepy cat makes a reappearance. What's he do? <gasps> He's scary. Why does the yellow one just do it short? Is <laughs> you make it You should you know what'd be so creepy is if this thing was in the back actually making the owl uh, like I wish I could <laughs> <laughs> You need like ten more hours. I love it. This is so creepy. <laughs> the 
tail from the stuffy. Oh, that's even you better. did a really good, that's a good wag. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Who's a good puppy? Oh. Oh. And he has a heart, so you can put the heart on where his um, 